Good day guys, nice to have you here. Today, we will watch a game where I was pretty much 99% certain we were going to lose. Not only were the enemies playing very well, our team including myself weren't exactly playing so good at all. We were playing so bad, the weakest enemy was still playing better compared to more than half of our team. But of course, you know me and the plot armor Argus has whenever I upload such videos. So I guess you have a good idea what the outcome will be. Nonetheless, stay tuned for we will also discuss the details behind the decisions I made in this game, including the bad ones. And speaking of bad ones, recently Alpha just received his Abyss villain skin. And I for one strongly believe Argus deserves one as well. If you feel the same way, hit like and share this video in order to show Moonton our desires of having an Argus villain skin. Before we continue though, I want to give my shoutouts to Nofazik, YT, and he too hosts a YouTube channel, so make sure to give him some love. For those new to the channel, the emblem I use for this game is Killing Spree with the following configuration. This has been my primary emblem on Argus ever since he got revamped due to its well-rounded stats and of course the ability to regenerate his HP after each kill which further sustains his survivability in clashes. I shouldn't have advanced. Whenever playing the solo lane, be observant of your enemy's tendencies and behaviors. A lot of Cho players including this guy was using his first skill to clear the minions earlier. The fact he saved his first skill was already a red flag. I should have recognized that he was doing so to secure my death. This is why I love getting Purify for Argus. A lot of our enemies were missing from our vision. That is exactly the reason why I didn't help Ruby. She was too deep in the enemy territory. Instead, I focused on getting the gold from the turret as I am not too sure where the enemies are going to come from. No matter how tanky you are, always act with caution whenever a lot of the enemies are missing from the minimap. Here we go! I was hoping that Johnson will use his ultimate on Cho, considering that it was available. Sadly, for some unknown reason, he didn't. Welcome to Solo Q, my friends. This should already be common knowledge, but I just want to put emphasis to it. Whenever you are defending your turret, especially when its HP is tremendously low, focus on clearing the minions first. Remember that turrets prioritize minions and will only hit heroes if they inflict damage onto you. 3 concede attempts, tons of deaths from our team, and a bit of existential crisis later. I wanted to get Sea Halberd next in order for me to counter Esmeralda. Sadly, given the fact that all of our enemies are technically snowballing already, it's more important for me to last longer on the battlefield 
which is why I got has cost. I did in order for me to avoid recalling and instead quickly regenerate HP within seconds using the massive lifesteal of this item on minions and jungle monsters. At this point, our best bet in winning this match is by managing the lanes effectively. As a solo laner, map awareness is of great importance as you are tasked to split push. Again, check the minimap every 5 seconds. Don't ever say her. This may not be a perfect game for me, but map awareness will always be one of my strong suits. I can't count the times I was accused of map hacking. And like I said, there's no secret ingredient or any secret formula. All it takes is for you to check your minimap every 5 seconds. Many many more deaths and 2 more conceived attempts later. We took a huge gamble since 2 of the enemies are down. Luckily for us, it worked out fine. Sadly, it will not last long. I gotta say though, Ruby is doing an amazing job defending the base. I hope, despite its short duration, this video was able to give you a better idea on the importance of macro management. If you guys have any other tips or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe everyone. Peace.